welcome back to another edition of Wild Wind Outdoors. We're over here doing a little bit of beaver management by the highway. Now, they clogged my traps last time, but I want to go see over here if we got one or not. I see one. And that's the only trap we could really get in. Maneuver my way around here. And we'll go yank him up. Ooh, that water's cold. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how well you can see him, but right there. Let's find our trap stake. Oh, we'll just grab the beaver. Oh, come here. Oh, oh, that's a monster. Good Lord. That might be my biggest beaver to date. Yeah, that's the biggest beaver I've ever caught. Good Lord. I don't know, but this, I wear a size 12. Can't really all get him in the frame, but that's my size 12 boot compared to the sucker. Now they've been tearing this up. I'm gonna get him out of here, but I got one hand free, so I'm gonna turn it over to that lovely lady over there. Okay. Yeah. It's got three lines on it, is it good? Huh? It's got three lines on it, is it good? Three lines on it. Where the little red dot was? Bring your safety. Yeah, I got I figure the water's cold too, cause that wind's cold. That's the biggest beaver I've ever caught. We'll find out if it's male or female once you get it skin. That ain't the newest one. Yeah, that's the new one. No, the new one's still at the house. No, this is the new one. Yeah, but you have a new new one at the house. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Look at this monster. Don't water. fall in the water. I used the cup. Ah. Hey, I needed a drink. Yeah, I caught this beaver on a basic damn set. The other beavers weren't scared off by this. They incorporated him in the dam, as you just saw. So we're going to get some of this. I'm actually just going to move the trap right over here. Best. Where it's flowing a little more. <sighs> Watch for thorns and briars. Huh? Watch for thorns and briars. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't 
getting help trying to do this and just right after archery practice. You get a workout. Huh? I said you get a workout. some of my older videos we have trapped these beavers before. But I got a text message saying that they were back, they were back mm -hmm. and could we come and take care of them for them. So I said, sure, why not? Yeah, that's my second favorite thing to do other than coyotes and bobcat trap. Got your safeties off, son? Yep. And we're live. That's a simple dam break with a ginormous beaver. Now. <laughs> oh. I don't think you can chunk the beaver like that. <laughs> oh. Good Lord. Let's watch and see if Wall Wind busts his butt with the beaver. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> make big things up. All right. I'm going to pause it and we're going to check the rest of these sets. Well, we made the next spot. Here are the vicious doggos. Well, at first glance, it did come a big rainstorm tonight. Last, Last night. night and this morning, and oh, I thought my trap was down there. Pulled the chain a little bit. I found it out here, so it's got to have something if it ain't down there. So, oh, Just tiny beaver. Tiny, tiny compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he'll he'll do good in a roast. He's about as the size of my size twelve boot. But uh, they need to be out of here. This is, you know, somebody's pond that they want to keep nice. And these beaver keep in on in and destroying this place. So it's just good we got this one out. But, uh, yep, I'm going to reset this one. This is a crossover set. They go under here and out to the main pond. We might have another one over there. Don't know. So I'm just going to leave you all on pause and check the rest of them. All right, two out of four sets ain't that bad. This is our last set. I didn't show you all the last set, but I didn't have anything. And just a little gunked up, so we'll get that cleared out. Set a little bit farther back from this crossover. It looks like a dam break. The water. There, they can come out through there, so I'm just gonna stick, stick right there. Yeah, today I caught the largest beaver I've ever caught and the smallest beaver I've ever caught. <laughs> so it's been one of those days. Thanks for watching this edition of Wild Went Outdoors. Catch you on the next one.